Welcome to the part 1 of project demonstration which is heart disease prediction system using machine learning algorithm called logistic regression. This is the first part where we will see the live demonstration of project on how it actually works. And in the second part we will see all about tools and technology used, data set that is used, implementation of algorithm, accuracy of the system and all of those good technical stuffs. Uh, Alright, heart disease prediction system is a web based application which basically predicts the heart disease. It uses 13 different attributes or parameters like blood pressure, age, cholesterol, gender and so on to basically predict heart disease. So basically you need to know these 13 different medical attributes and you just give it to the system and the system will basically predict the heart disease with probability between 0 and 1. So in this system logistic regression is implemented right from the scratch instead of just importing it from library like scikit-learn. It also has a simple clean and good looking user interface for good user interaction. So you also get the separate dashboard for user and admin. So in user dashboard user can basically predict the heart disease, have the records of previous heart disease and so on. Uh, you'll just see in a second what I'm talking about. And in admin panel, admin can basically update the information about the system and basically manage the user. And last but not least, user can also send the feedback to the system using email. So now let's just see the system itself. So this is the homepage of the heart disease prediction system. Everything you see here is designed right from the scratch. So this is just a quick about page and uh, this is the contact page. So here you can basically send the message and feedback to the system which I'll show at the last. For now let's just move into here and you can quickly predict the hard digits or basically sign up to the system to get even more features. Let's just quickly predict the hard digits. So now you just need to give the value of those 13 attributes that I was talking earlier. We also have different medical terms that you can see here. So we can just enter those value and our model will basically predict the heart disease uh, in probability. So let's just give the uh, value. Uh, let's say the age is like 57. Gender is 1. CP is 0. So I've finished entering all those value. Now let's just click this button which is test now. So I'm just going to click that. For that particular value, probability of getting heart disease is 0.2 only. So to use this quickly predict feature, you just don't need to even sign up to the system. You can directly do that, but it only shows the output, nothing more. Now if you sign up into the system, you'll get even more features. Let's just quickly sign up as a new user and find out what those features are. Let's just hit the sign up button. So I'm just going to give the name like Darkside and last name as Dark. Let's just give the random email. Now let's just give the username as Darkside and let's just set the password as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And let's just sign into the system. So it's just say the user Darkside is created. Now let's just sign in. So the username was Darkside and password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's just sign into the system. So this is the user dashboard that I was talking about. Uh, you have all those features here. We are right here in predict heart disease burden. So this is newly created user. So if we go to the previous record, it does not have any previous record. So let's just quickly predict the heart disease here too. So I'm just going to give the value. So I've given all those 13 different values. So now let's just test the result. So for this particular user, the probability of having heart disease is 0.57. So 0.5 is basically a threshold value. So value above that basically means that the chance of having heart disease is high and the value below 0.5 basically have a lesser chance of having heart disease. Again, how is that? Why is that? We'll just see in the second part of the video. So for this particular user, it's just saying the chances of having heart disease is high and the system is suggesting uh, you to view the prevention and view the list of doctors and hospitals that are available. So let's just view the prevention. So it just gives all of these different uh, prevention methods from heart disease. And if you go back and see the doctors and hospital, it is showing uh, all the list of doctors and hospitals that is uh, available in heart disease prediction system. So let's say if you want to contact to this doctor, then you can just hit email now. And then you'll go to email and you can just write the subject and send the message right away, which is pretty cool. 
so let's just cancel it for now and if you go to the previous record now the list is added so this date is just now and the probability of getting heart disease is here so for this user dark side if you predict the heart disease again it will show that as number two and all of those details here so if you want to view even more in detail what you've just entered click this button which will take you to this space and these are the value that i just entered earlier and you also have this uh, symptoms prevention and doctors and hospitals list so this is pretty much for the user so let's just sign out for the admin just go to the home url and type slash admin so the username is admin password is like double admin and here i am to the admin dashboard so admin can basically manage the users and the list of doctors and hospitals uh, you can also make the groups and stuff but uh, uh, let's just go to the users for now so these are all the users that are present in heart disease prediction system so admin this is me and these are all those users so this is just the default python django dashboard and now here we have two dark side let's just delete this one so i can just check this box go to action select the delete user and let's just hit this go button and i just want to delete this so i'm just gonna click that and it is saying successfully deleted one user so now what i can basically do is i can also add the user if i want let's just add another user let's say like user one two three and let's just give the password and let's just save it it is asking even more information so let's just give the first name and last name and let's just give the email address and let's just go down here and let's just say as saved now the admin has added the new user you can also go to doctors and hospitals and basically delete and update the doctors and hospitals so let's just say i'm just going to update uh, the list of doctors so let's edit the name here and you can just uh, save the name and let's just say you want to add a new hospital you can do that just in the same way and you can just save here and the list of doctors and hospitals uh, will be updated for now i'm just going to give like omibania hospital name random and just give the email address like i'm just going to give whatever i want enter the phone number and let's just give the location and save this so it is saying the hospital has been uh, added successfully uh, so let's just see if it is true or not if you go to the list of doctors and hospitals you can see that the new doctor is added and also the name of this doctor is edited which is pretty cool so this is basically what you can do with admin dashboard let's say you love the heart disease prediction system and you want to give feedback to the system you just have to go to contact give my name here give the email address and let's just give the title and you can just submit the email so if i go to the email and check it you will see the message that we just sent so that means our system is working perfectly fine so this is the demonstration of the project so if you need the resources then you can find that in the description below so if you have any queries or question regarding this then you can just comment down below in the second part we'll see all about the tools and technology used a data set that is being used how the model is being trained how data set is splitted how algorithm is working and all of this stuff so stay tuned for that <laughs>